We are back with another super special project. I am so excited about this build I have for you today. I have made the Starship Enterprise from Star Trek. I think it turned out so great. We have a holodeck, we have the bridge, we have the captain's quarters, all that fun stuff from the movies. Alrighty everyone, I am so excited that I finally completed this awesome Star Trek spaceship build and I'm really excited to bring you along on the tour of everything I've done with this ship. I DIY'd so many fun little doodads and gadgets in the bridge and everything and it's just really fun. So we are starting off here in the holodeck. It is pretty trippy in here. I did this effect using um, wall molding pieces and made them green. So yeah, definitely took a long time. Before I begin, I just want to say Mr. Building with Becky actually did. A lot of this, it wasn't all me, so it was all his idea. So he had a lot of fun things added to it. I mostly did some of the detail work. <laughs> but yeah, this turned out really cool. Um, it goes all the way around here. And the doors into all the rooms are really cool using different um, wall architectural pieces, the different like triangle ones, the archway type of things, and chipboards. And I even used things like cups and muffin tins and things like that for the little buttons. And obviously the metal looks really awesome in a lot of these rooms here. I did silver and gold, and then I have some red and orange accents everywhere. I think they look really nice. These doors look like they fit together really perfectly. I really like how a lot of these doors turned out. So now we can depart the holodeck and we are just inside like a little hallway area here. Over on the left side of the holodeck I do have a little holodeck programming screen right here and some buttons that are Rubik's cubes over on the left side of that. So these signs definitely added a lot to the build here. I think they look really cool. Another really amazing part of this build is all the windows that overlook the solar system here. So when we get up close, you can see I actually have stars and like meteoroids out there. So the stars are actually tennis balls and then the bright ones are just little lights. And then obviously I transformed some rocks and stuff out there. And just the windows themselves look really cool. I have the glass walls built right into them so they look really built in and just really cool looking. So I have the windows on this side and then I have a matching set of three over on this side as well. You can see some more of the stars and the meteoroids out there. And you can look at them in all the windows in this build. In this hallway we have two doors leading to the same area on both the left and right sides and then this middle doorway here is a big set of stairs leading down to all the rest of the things. So we are going to finish off up here first. This door here leads to the transporter room. So I've got the fun shaped windows out here. Again, you can check out the outside of the ship even and the stars out there. It looks the same over there. And then here is the little control panel for the transporter right there. All sorts of little doodads. Um, I don't even know what all we used for these different things. This is like the big muffin tray over there on the left side with all these gold buttons. Even like a makeup palette. This is a clock in the middle actually, but you can actually press the light switch and turn the transporter on and off. And just climb right up those steps there and then you are inside the transporter. This looks pretty realistic actually and it is really fun. I do have a couple little signs and buttons over here. Just another one of those similar signs to that one out there for the holodeck and another muffin tray um, button thing. And then this door right here leads to nothing, just a fake door, but it really looks nice. And a matching door here and this actually leads to the captain's quarters. So here we are in the captain's quarters. Really nice in here. He's got a really nice big window. You can get a good look at everything out here. His little desk here with his office supplies. A nice beautiful picture up there his little chair to hang out in and then right here is a little custom made bed and then we have a couple of nice plants a funky lamp and then another sign up there and a little gun up there above the bed <laughs> for easy access i don't think i already mentioned this but this is going to be a job um link down below for mod.io i didn't do anything too crazy for the job just a few little bits of dirt some unpacking buying and selling so it is very easy and you should be able to get three stars in it so yeah you're gonna unpack these different shelves like buy the pillows and the plants and stuff nothing too 
too wild. I just think it all looks cute there on the shelves. And then in this little cupboard, just some books, a little sculpture, and then some little drinks and glasses on the bottom shelf there. I really love how the captain's quarters turned out. And now we can exit in here. Again, the transporter room looks really great. I love how all the different metals look in the game, shining in the lights. And then we get to go downstairs. This area looks pretty cool here heading downstairs. You can see the outside of the ship on both sides. And then these windows right here turned out really cool too. Got the round one in the middle and the different shaped ones on the outside flanking it. And then these two doorways here really cool with the, like different triangle pieces in the metal. But they both lead over into the bridge. So we will head into this hallway to the right first because it leads into a break room as well. I love how these hallways turned out here. I got the fun ceiling, the sloped walls. I got the like windows kind of bumped out into the side there like this. Again, you can see the ship out there. I just love how the lighting and stuff looks in here and all the different accent colors and accent metals. And obviously, like I said, the doors are all really cool looking the way they fit together. So now let's head into the break room here. So we've got the table here with all the shiny metal and then the red and orange chairs, of course. What's really cool is that it's actually sitting here on this glass floor piece so you can see down into here. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. I have to show you one more thing upstairs. Let's zoom on up there. It's really quick to get around the ship. <laughs> Head into here. I forgot to show you the upper skylight up here. And then there's the sun up there. It's a fun little touch. Back downstairs. Let's go. Running down the stairs. We got an emergency. We need donuts. So yeah, all the donuts are really cute. I did red and orange frosting and then the white and black ones have some sprinkles on them. Fun little spot for meetings and stuff. We've got the TV screen in here for um, showing up videos and everything. A little cat in space poster hanging in there. <laughs> Over here I just have a plant and a trash and then a sofa right here and then a sofa here as well as a little coffee station. Up here we have the cast of Star Trek over on the left side and then the new captain, Captain Becky, over here on the right side. As you can see, I am wearing my little Star Trek outfit. I do have a little pin. It's just not super visible. <laughs> so yeah, I think those look really cute up there, as well as another plants. And then just some nice tile work and everything in here. And then this right here is the staircase that we just went down. So yeah, really fun in here. I like the little lights hanging down up there as well. And now carrying on to the star of the show, the bridge. So we have the big screen in here. Um, this is an incoming transmission coming in from Starfleet Command. So this is kind of also built into a glass wall so you can see out into the back from behind the screen, which is a fun touch. And then we also have the little side window pieces and just some like little power switches and everything on the sides there. Did some fun metal work and everything and the lights. Everything is just really pretty in here. As I said before, used all kinds of little gadgets for all of these different little um, buttons and everything. Muffin tins, video game controllers, eyeshadow palettes, alarm systems. And then these are pictures built into this table here, all three of these things are, as well as more gadgets and everything. So if you download Mod.io, be sure to look around at all this because I think it turned out really cool. And then right here is the captain's chair, of course, his nice big chair. He's got his own buttons and everything, of course. This is what it looks like to sit in the captain's chair. Pretty official looking. I like how the different stairs turned out to get to this bottom level. And then up here, we've got room for more officers on the ship. Love how the different screens up here turned out as well. I think it looks really nice and then even more things down here different like access screens and stuff different little controls their little chairs look really cute another screen here with like a keyboard some more rubik's cubes buttons fingerprint scanning things got a nice accent piece up here i think all oh, that looks really pretty i just love all the gold and silver metal and all the tile work in here and then I did these fun windows down here, same as the window at the base of the stairs. And then of course you cannot forget the bathroom, so I just have a little sink with a mirror, some little gadgets here with the toilet paper roll holder. Just a nice toilet there and a shelf above it. You can even get your own window here in the bathroom too. So yeah, that is it for in here. And then you just have another hallway that is the same as the one on the opposite side. In case you wondered how it looks from the outside, this is how it looks. It just looks really cool being able to zoom around through the stars, being able to see into there from out here. Obviously, you won't be able to do that when you're in play mode because you can't use G or the flying mode when you're doing that, but 
I'm glad I was able to make this look cool from the outside as well as the inside. Oops, you just caught my secret. We're basically inside a pool giant box. <laughs> but yeah, it just looks really cool from all these different angles. Even from up here, here's that skylight. And then we are back in the transporter room there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my Star Trek spaceship. This was definitely a labor of love. It took a long time, but I really, really love how it all turned out. If you check it out on Mad.io, please let me know what you thought about it. And stay tuned for more fun videos to come. Thanks again for watching this video and don't forget, live long and prosper. <laughs> Bye guys.